Hi guys, this is Sadek from Droidman.com and in this video, we'll show you how to extract the currently installed boot IMG file using MSM download tool. So as you might be aware, when it comes to rooting an Android phone, be it any Android phone, your first course of action is to extract the boot IMG file from the firmware or the stock ROM which is currently installed onto your phone. And when it comes to OnePlus, you could download the firmware from the official side from XGA or using the Oxygen Updater app. But the main cause of concern is that you will have to find the exact same version which corresponds to the build number. And in some cases, you might not be able to find that as well. So in other words, if you go to about device and version, so first off, you have to find the same firmware which corresponds to the exact build number. And moreover, the firmware itself is around 4 to 5 GB nowadays. So that will again call for unnecessary bandwidth and your time wastage. So in this video, we'll show you how to get hold of the boot IMG file without even the need to download the firmware. We'll be using the MSM download tool. Yes, it's the same tool which is used to unbreak your OnePlus phone. But in this video, we'll be using it to extract the boot IMG file from your phone. So on that note, let's get started. Beforehand, please take a backup of all the data on your phone just to be on a safer side. Once that is done, your first course of action is to disable the driver signature enforcement. This is because if you don't do so, then Windows will not let you install the ideal drivers. Moreover, all these steps are just for the one time setup. From the subsequent time, you will not be have to do all these steps. You will just have to do the last step. Just for the first time, we are doing all the setup and it might look a little bit lengthy, but it's just a one time effort and it's worth the rewards. So on that note, first off, let's disable the driver signature enforcement for that press and hold the shift key and while doing so, click on restart. Your PC will now go to the Windows recovery environment and let me show the screenshot. So from here, then you have to select the troubleshoot option. After that, you have to choose advanced option and then you have to choose startup settings. You will now be taken to a screen from where you have to press the 7 or F7 key to disable the reverse signature enforcement. Once that is done, your PC will automatically boot to the OS. So once you have done so, your next course of action is to boot your phone to EDL mode. As of now, we are just temporarily booting to EDL mode for driver verification and then we'll boot to the OS. The actual EDL mode will be done at the end. So as of now, we are just booting to EDL to verify the driver signature enforcement. So for booting to EDL, there exist quite a few methods, but the most easiest one is using the ADB command. So for that, your first course of action is to go to settings menu. From there, you have to go to about device and then you have to go to version and tap on build number seven times. You will get a prompt that you are now a developer. So now go back again, go back. Now go to additional settings. You should now see developer option. Go there and enable the toggle next to USB debugging. Once that is done, make sure also that the system UI is selected as file transfer and not charging. So just a minute. So select file transfer from here. And with this, the ADB debugging connection has been established. So let's verify the same. For that, you have to download the Android SDK platform tools. So download it from the link given in my guide and extract them onto your PC. You would extract them anywhere you want. I have done the extraction E drive as you could see. And these are the files of the platform tools. Now type in CMD in the address bar and hit enter. This will launch the command prompt window inside platform tools folder. Now type in ADB devices and hit enter. Make sure that you are getting a serial ID. Once you are getting this ID, your next course of action is to boot your phone to EDL mode. So let's not do so. So for that, you just have to type in the single line of command, which is the ADB reboot EDL. Likewise, also open the, hit the windows X shortcut keys and then choose device manager. So with this, we have opened the device manager as well. We'll also verify that. So open it and keep expand the port section and keep it open. Now you have to type in this command and hit enter. So let's do so. So type in this command and hit enter and your phone should not boot to EDL mode in a matter of few seconds. And you have to now check whether the phone name, what it is showing, if it's showing as Qualcomm HS QSB QD loader, let me show you once. So it will take a few seconds. 
so in my case it's showing as qualcomm hs usb qd loader 9008 so this signifies that the edl drivers have been installed on the other hand if your phone is being shown as qhs usb bulk then it means that the edl drivers are not installed so you will have to install the edl drivers onto your pc i made a separate guide on the same you could refer to my guide and install the edl drivers regarding this there are two approaches you could either use the automatic installation or the manual first off i will recommend you to use the automatic installation so just launch the setup and choose wwa and dhcp and then just hit the next button click on install and hit finish if that does not work then you could also manually install the drivers and once you have installed the drivers i've given the link of these files as well so just let me show you this these are the files for the automatic installation 64 bit and this is the manual installation so install the drivers from here and once you have installed the drivers again execute the adb reboot edl command and this time around your phone should be listed as qualcomm hs usb qd loader the com number could be different that is not an issue and if you are getting a yellow warning sign then this signifies that the driver signature has, has not been disabled so please make sure to read do all the steps and turn off driver signature enforcement once that is done and once the ed drivers are installed you should now get a qualcomm hs usb qd loader once you're getting this you could now boot your phone to the os and i i have already done that so with this we have verified the driver installation and our next course of action is to check the current boot partition that is extremely important so go to the settings menu on your phone from there you have to go to additional settings then go to developer option and enable the toggle next to usb debugging after that you will now have to simply copy this entire command so let me copy this command and open cmd window inside platform tools paste this command and hit enter so as you could see in my case it's showing as a b partition so in my case i have to you extract the boot underscore b or the boot b partition for rooting if it's showing as a in your case then you have to use the boot a partition so please remember this in my case it's a boot pa b partition so i am using the b partition for the boot b slot for the boot partition so with that said let's now move over to ne next step so now you have to download the msm download tool for your phone you could download it from my guide i have linked this guide and i have the msm tool up till oneplus 9 pro for the oneplus 11 series is currently under works the oneplus 10 series is also not had yet so you could only get the oneplus 9 pro and then the oneplus not series so download the msm tool for your phone in my case i am using the oneplus 8t so this is the msm tool so download and extract them onto your pc and you will get a few files once that is done your next course of action so just a minute your next course of action is to launch the tool so you have to launch it using its exe file so double click on the msm download tool version 4.0 and you will now get a sign in prompt so let's just wait for a few seconds you might now get a sign in prompt and in that prompt you have to select others and then click on next so the first time it might load it might take a few seconds so click select others and click on next and now as you could see currently the tool has been opened now you have to press the f8 or fn plus f8 keys and as soon as you do so it will open the read back mode now you have to check mark the partition boot partition which correspond to your active partition in my case it's a boot b partition so i'll choose the boot b partition from here so select any random partition then hit the b key on your keyboard and it will bring up all the partition from the b beginning with b so this is the boot b in my case so check mark it if it's boot a in your case if it's showing as a over here then you have to select the boot a partition which is somewhere here in my case it's the b so i'm using the boot b partition now under password you have to type in one plus all in small letters so type in one plus and click on ok as soon as you do so you will get a read back button in the msm tool as of now don't click on this button rather your next course of action is now to boot your phone to edl mode so let's now carry out this task for that again open cmd window on your phone sorry on your pc open the cmd window and likewise make sure usb debugging is enabled and it's set to file transfer so make sure to change it to file transfer and now you have to again 
type in adb reboot edl and hit enter now open the msm tool and as soon as your phone is shown as connected you have to click on read back so let's just wait for the time frame it might take around 5 seconds for a phone to show as connected it will either show in so is showing as connected now click on read back and it will not try to get a few info and in the meantime you it might show as na and something like that it's completely normal and nothing to worry about let the tool do its job and as you could see it will now start the process and currently it has now started reading the boot b partition and the process stands complete the entire process took around 24 seconds and your phone should either boot to the os or if it's in the power off state that's not an issue simply long press the power key and your phone should then boot to the os so if that is not happening then you have to unplug your phone from the pc as well and once you have unplugged your phone now simply long press the power key for around 5 to 10 seconds and then it shall boot to the os in a matter of few seconds so let's just wait for that to happen and as you could see our phone is now booting up so in the meantime the extraction always takes place inside the c drive so the file will be placed in the c drive so let me go to the c drive and refresh it once so as you could see it's the boot partition and it's the boot b partition in my case so let me now show you that it is the same boot partition which is currently installed onto my phone some of you might have a concern i have seen on online forum wherein some of the users have asked whether it's the same boot partition which is currently installed onto our phone or it's the boot partition which correspond to the ops firmware which is there in the msm tool so i would like to reverify and show you that the boot partition which we have got is the same as the one which is installed onto our phone and it's not the one which is from the ops firmware as you might be aware the ops firmware is only with android 11 so the files of that might not will not work with android 13 in my case so i will verify and show you that the file which we have got is not from the ops firmware but is from the currently installed firmware which in my case is Ocean os 13.1 so the best way to verify that is by rooting our phone using this file so first and foremost you have to connect your phone to the pc and once that is done you have to choose file transfer and now you have to choose the this boot file which you have extracted using msm tool so copy this boot file and transfer this boot file onto your piece onto your phone so up is let me remove the folder boot file and now transfer the boot file once you have transferred the boot file it's the currently the stock boot img file which you have extracted using the msm tool apart from that you also need to transfer the magis apk file onto your phone so for the magis apk file let me show you my guide so you could refer to this guide it's the guide on how you could root any oneplus phone based on android 13 so on this you will now have to refer to my guide and go to this link and install the magis app from here at the time of recording the version 26.1 is the latest build so simply go here and download the apk and transfer the apk file onto your phone and this is the official chain log as well you could verify the chain log so at that as of now both the magis apk and the stock boot img file which we've extracted should be there onto your phone once that is done you will now have to install the magis app first so launch the file manager app then go to device storage and first off let's install the magis app so hit the install button and now tap on open then tap on install next to magis then select and patch a file and now you have to choose the boot ing file which we have just extracted select it and tap on let's go magis will now patch this file and will take only a few seconds so now it's done and the file is placed in the download folder so let me access the download folder from my pc so if i go to the download folder so there this is the file you could verify the file name as well so at the end it's zdkw6 so it's the same file name simply copy this file name and place the file name file inside the platform folder on your pc so with this we have got the magis patch file and i will now show you how to root this your phone using this patch file so for that you have to boot your phone to fast boot mode so open cmd window inside platform tools folder and now type in adb reboot bootloader and hit enter and your phone should now boot to fast boot mode 
in the meantime let's rename the file to something more meaningful so let me rename it to something so let's just rename it to mbp which stands for magis mpb magis patch boot so the entire name will become mpb.img so we will now use this file to boot our phone to rooted os so now first off type in passport devices and make sure that you are getting a serial id if you are not getting any id then you will have to install fastboot drivers i have given a link for that in my guide you could refer to my guide and make sure to install those fastboot drivers onto your pc so this is the guide and in this guide there is a video as well you could refer to my video to install the fastboot drivers now you will have to boot your phone using this patch file so type in fastboot boot and the name of the file which is magisk patch boot.img and hit enter so our phone will now boot using this patch file and it will take around 5 to 6, six seconds so please make sure to use the boot command and never use the flash command because as of now we have to test if the file is working or not if there is something wrong with the file and you have used the flash command then your phone might end up in a break state soft break state that is but on the other hand if you have used the boot command and if something is wrong with the patch file then upon a subsequent reboot the patch file will be replaced by the stock file and the issue will be rectified so always use the boot command and never use the flash command so as of you could see our phone has now booted to the os so this signifies that we have obtained root but as of now the root is only temporarily because we have used the boot command so let's now make the root permanent for that launch the magisk app and while currently you could see it's rooted by a magisk so let me show you the first booter might take up a few seconds so let's just wait for the time frame and as you could see while it's currently rooted by a magisk but it's just for the one time usage because we have used the boot command upon a subsequent reboot the root will be gone so let's now make the root permanent for that type on install then select direct install and type on let's go and now as you could see magisk will now flash the new boot img file it's now flashing it and the flashing will take around 8 to 10 seconds so let's just wait for the time frame and once that is done you should see a reboot button so tap on reboot and our phone should now reboot to the rooted os so as i was saying please always use the boot command if you use the fastboot flash command in other words for instance if you use the fastboot flash command in this case if you use the fastboot flash fastboot flash boot mbp.img this might also work but if in some case something is wrong with the m patch boot file then your phone might get stuck in the soft break state so in that case you have to extract the boot img file and flash it again however if you just use the boot command and something is wrong with the patch file then a subsequent reboot will replace the patch file with the stock file and the issue would be automatically fixed anyways with that said let's now launch the magisk app and show you the results so as you could see the app is now rooted by magisk and we have now obtained permanent root to verify the root let's install an app known as root checker you could install the app from play store as well if you want and let me now launch the app and tap on agree and skip the setup process then tap on verify root and as you could see we have obtained root using the boot img file which we have extracted from the msm tool itself so this was the msm tool and we extracted the boot file just keep in mind to always extract the same boot partition file which you have, you have got from the this command in my case it was a slot b so i used the boot partition of the slot b patch it by a magisk and again make sure to use the boot command and then use the direct install to obtain permanent root so guys on that note i round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and guys please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks thanks a lot for watching